What's going on my well to family and welcome back. Today's lesson is going to be a two part series, okay? And in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to weld out a 5G 6010 root, 6010 hot, 718 filling cap with a 6 inch schedule 80 pipe, all right? I'm going to be showing you the root on this tutorial and then for the next tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to fill it out, fill and cap with 7018. Let's get to it. I know I'm ready to burn. Let's do this. All right, my well to family. So, you know, I got this uh, six inch schedule 80 pipe tacked up in the 5G position. We're not gonna roll it, it's gonna be in the fixed position, okay? Now, when you're gonna tack it up, make sure you tack it up something that's comfortable for you, all right? If you wanna tack it, down, tack it down, uh, up down here to the point that you're sitting down and doing it, it's whatever you feel comfortable. At the end of the day, if you have it tacked on a certain way, leave it there. Don't move it up, don't move it down, you know? If you're gonna do the bottom side, don't move it up to do the bottom to do the bottom side, then move it down to do the top side. You gotta learn how to weld in a fixed position, rather it be on the ground, rather it be up here. So, but at first, we're welding this root pass. You wanna be comfortable. So we're gonna weld it from the bottom up. We're welding with a 332 gap, 332 landing, all right? And I have two tacks, one at 12 o'clock and one at six o'clock. All right. You could put four. You know, um, I recommend two. I just like to quarter it. I like to go from, you know, six to three, and then from six to nine, then three to 12, and then from nine to 12. That's what I like to do, but it's my personal preference, but there's other ways of doing things, okay? So you can put four tacks by all means. So for the root pass, the most important thing before we even throw this is getting comfortable. Now, I have a vice grip right here. You can put the vice grip right on the pipe, Lean your elbow on there, get nice and comfortable, and go to town, all right? Usually, I like to weld it one-handed. That's what I feel most comfortable with, but I'm doing this to show y'all what y'all could be doing as well, all right? Um, now, if y'all don't have a vice grip, y'all can go ahead and tack up maybe an angle iron, you know, put something there to get comfortable with, guys. You don't want to be like this, welding the root pads, like, like this, you know, uncomfortable. That's the wrong way to do it, and it's not going to come out the way you want to. So... Get comfortable, have one knee up, one knee down. Nice and comfortable, go to town. Now, we're wanting the root pass around 70 to 75 amps, depending on your gap. I like a 332 gap, I like 70 to 75, all right? You can do a 16th gap and a 16th land if you want to, but if you do, you're gonna have to turn it up to about 78 to 85 amps for your root pass. Now, that's the second option. But since we're running a 332 gap, I'm gonna go ahead and have my angle about, you don't want it straight up like this when you're welding the root from the bottom. You want it about third degrees with the rod going towards you, all right? And you want to be able, when you strike that arc, you want to go an inch before the, the tie-in, warm it up, and make that keyhole and push that rod. When you're on the bottom side, you want to be able to push that rod from at least from uh, six to around, oh man, about five, five o'clock, four o'clock right here. You want to be able to push. This is the most what people don't get penetration at, guys, right here, okay, on the bottom side. Here you will get pen penetration regardless uh, because gravity plays and everything will fall down. But it's that bottom side a lot of people have trouble with. A lot of my students have trouble with as well. But what you got to do is you got to make sure you strike your arc, warm it up, make the keyhole, and do that Christmas tree pattern that I have in my other tutorials on the 6G and on the, on the 2G as well. You could whip it as well. You know, or you could drag it as well. It's just depending on what you're top. But what I like is doing Christmas tree patterns from the bottom all the way to the top because I know I'm fusing both walls and everything's going good in the inside for the root, root reinforcement. Strike my arc, have my angle about 20, 30 degrees facing me. Strike it, warm it up, make the keyhole and push, push, push. Make that keyhole on the bottom from six to four o'clock. Push, push. 